Well, I did want it to be a, a really central part because sport is so often sort of seen as a boy's thing. Yeah. And obviously in recent years, especially with the success of uh, particularly of the women's England women's football it has you know opened a lot of well men's eyes to the importance of of, of women's sport i i was wary of sort of paying lip service in every chapter and sort of saying uh, this was how the sport emerged and this was women's uh, role in it and then sort of back to the blokes um, so in order to try to avoid that, I really wanted to focus on on women in, in one chapter at least, which I did in the chapter I wrote about tennis, which I, I really do kind of see as of having a sort of transformative effect on the way women were viewed in sporting terms and in wider terms um, in Britain, particularly around Wimbledon, which is yeah. basically the only way in in which tennis ever becomes a truly kind of popular game in, in Britain once a year, um, with with some exceptions. Um, and the story there of women's place in tennis slightly does replicate this kind of story of uh, repression, uh, being ignored, being ill-treated, then being accepted on certain terms and obviously the the women's uh, tennis has, has become more and more successful more and more important as, as part of the kind of particularly the Wimbledon fortnight but it's still to me noticeable that it is not quite seen in the same terms um, uh, one example I give is that there are there's no statue for example of a of a female tennis player at Wimbledon there's one of Fred Perry um despite the fact there were numerous female champions uh at Wimbledon throughout the years finally um the last one being Virginia Wade I also think it's kind of remarkable that nobody ever mentions or seemed to maybe I'm wrong about this but that the commentator Sue Barker, who was a former tennis player herself, won a Grand Slam and uh, she won the French Open. Yeah. So modest about it that she had apparently never noticed that her own engraved name on the side of the trophy had ascribed her nationality as Australian, which was uh, a bit surprising. Only when yeah. um, I think Ashley Barty, the first Australian winner of the um, French Open pointed this out and said, oh, am I not the first Australian winner? Who's this S Barker? Did people say, oh, no, she that should say GB? 